right hand lead by Cotto to the head. And a left hook by Cotto. Light punchers, and the reason is he has a tendency to rush in when he thinks he has his man hurt. He has a tendency to rush in with his head up. So far, he's fighting very controlled, but just watch for that. Crowd coming alive as Cotto connected with a couple of left hands. One of them was a left uppercut. And now he's giving out the way of the full arsenal. Cotto again with the quick hands. Again, you see Cotto using the jab more than he generally does, and I think that's because... Right hand by Abdullayev. Punch! And that hurt Cotto. Now here's some of the work that Abdullayev did in that third round. There's the right hand. Because that's the fight I expected to see him fight tonight. Left to the body by Abdullah, a very effective punch. He's doing left some damage. In the year. Now here's Cotto firing back late in the round. He missed with the right. Working the left hand. You notice he's really not landing clean. And he doesn't seem to be in any danger whatsoever right now. Cotto connecting twice with right hands. That comes Cotto. This is the fighter they came to see. Let's take a look at some of what Cotto did in round four. There's that left hook that missed, and then the body work. See, once you land to the body. Now, Sal, obviously, Cotto's got his hands full with that delay up tonight, but what kind of a fight would Cotto and Arturo Gatti make? Right to the body by Cotto. That, that could be hurt in the balcony. Left uppercut by the champion. More body work by Cotto. You see how everything works off Cotto's left hook to the body. There's the right hand that you mentioned earlier. So I think to me the most impressive thing about Cotto is that he has not let the emotion of this fight get to him. He just got hit with a couple of good right hands. The side to side movement. He got hit there with a shot he probably should not have gotten hit with. And that punch you can see from the last row of the garden still caught Cotto's chin. Starting to chant Cotto's name. That delay of his game and he's aggressive, Sal, but right now he's really not very effective. Oh, right hand by Abdullah, but Cotto comes back with his own right. All right. Let's take a look at some of the action in round seven. You see Cotto's punches. Abdullah's oh, forehead is starting to really get swollen. Yeah. I don't know if I'm a jinx or what, but just when I said he wasn't effective, he landed his best punch in several rounds. Abdullayev just does not stop, keeps coming forward, and if nothing else, he is putting pressure on Cotto. A lot of the crowd excited by something outside the ring. But the better fight is inside the ring. With uh, just a minute gone, well, we'll see now if that becomes a factor. That's a good flurry by Cotto, but Abdullayev is just a determined guy. He doesn't even take a step back. He just comes right back in. But they saw what you saw. Here's a replay. Some of the work by Cotto. Some real good quick flurries in that round. But he... It's amazing that Cotto stays on the ropes the way he does. Back. And he just got oh, hit. He's anticipating a break step back, step back. by the referee, Johnny Callis. And he was nailed by Abdullah. To get over the punch that makes Abdullah back up. Now, here's the punch. That probably should not have landed, and that's the referee's fault. And now Cotto is Stop. teeing off. Luto corner. Time. Give me time. Time out by the referee. You got the way of maybe the check in the eye. His eye is closed. Here comes the doctor. He's telling them he can't see. Can you see out of the 